us before we go into discuss our topic for today. Any hurdles with technetics, any issues and whatnot. So yeah, I think you're all good. Not this so, stage. I'm just here for the message. So far uh, away. Okay, no problem. Let me just close some of the tabs here on my screen. Um, for those people who are not aware yet, we actually have a free um, support call. Whenever you need help with anything, if you feel stuck with something with your like techmedics automations, websites, emails, and stuff like that, you can just book for a free 15-minute support call with our tech experts. Currently, you have me and Chelsea. I work with uh, people on the Perth time zone and Chelsea works with the central time zone. So you can just go to our website, go to book a call, go to the free 15 minute support call, choose the staff that you have. If you're on the same time zone as me, choose me as your staff. And if you're on the same time, time zone as Chelsea, choose Chelsea as a staff. Mm -hmm. So yeah. And then aside from that, we also have like different services that you can maybe um uh you are you might be like familiar of we have like migration services setup services if you have any questions with that you can definitely email febby at support uh febby at techmedics.com to ask for a quote or maybe ask more information about it or you can just go to our chat widget and then ask about our like services that we offer inside techmedics and we can just get back to you so yeah so yeah so our dis discussion for today is about uh, ways on how you're going to maybe promote your affiliate link so you can earn more affiliate incomes through um, promoting Techmatics. So for those people who are not yet an affiliate for Techmatics, head over to our website, www.techmatics.com, and then head over to our menu here on top called Affiliates. Click on that one. Oh, sorry. I'm currently an affiliate, so let me just go to incognito so you can see how it looks like on the on the front end so yeah head over to our website go to the affiliate menu here on top and then sign up as our affiliate for those people who sign up to true techmatics and sign up for our affiliate program during the beta period they actually have a 20 percent a reward for um, every referral they need so currently we we have 10 percent and we might be changing it in the future. So for those people who are not yet an affiliate for Techmatics, I really, really want to encourage you to take advantage of our current offer because we might be like changing it in the future. So yeah, so sign up as an affiliate. After you sign up as an affiliate, this is how your affiliate dashboard will look like. It will have your um, all of the people you referred, all of the customers you got, how many clicks you got through your links and stuff like that. As of the moment, I'm currently in 20% because I signed up on the uh, beta period. And then uh, when you scroll down here, this is your affiliate link. So you can start sending out this affiliate to your like friends or maybe through your emails and maybe have it on maybe a section in your website or have a dedicated page on your website for this exact um, affiliate. So yeah, so this is how your affiliate looks like. For those people who are asking on how they're getting paid with um, with Techmatics referrals, they do. On the top, uh, uh, on the top menu, you have payouts here. Um, I don't think, but as of the moment, I think we're only uh, doing payouts through PayPal. So I need to check on that one with Febby. But on my end, I have linked my PayPal account for my payouts. So just head over to payouts, set up your account. That would be easy. You'll just put in your email and you should be all good to go. So yeah, so that's how you're going to sign up as an affiliate inside Techmatics. Um, it will, you will have your own dedicated logins for this one. But uh, yeah, if you don't have your logins, if you're not sure if you are an affiliate with Techmatics program, please email us at support at techmatics.com so we can check on our back end. So yeah. So for our discussion for today, we'll discuss about top three. It actually should be four, but we're not yet to do the four yet because we're still build, building out the affiliate uh, funnel page or website page that we can give uh, we can give out to your accounts so you can use it as your own affiliate uh, like page inside Techmatics 
we will change all the buttons into your affiliate links. So all of your website visitor, all of this traffic will drive through our website, but all of the sales will be accumulated as your rewards. So that's what will happen. So you might need to have a separate training for that one for the funnel, uh, for the funnel part. But for uh for today's session, we'll discuss about how are you going to promote your Techmatics affiliate link to social media posting using the social media um, scheduler inside Techmatics. Second will be through an email blast out to you all of your contact list. And third would be um setting a specific um section on your us uh on your usual newsletter with the Techmatics um affiliate link. So that's what we're going to do. So let's discuss first about um, creating a, I mean, posting about the Techmatics um, affiliate into your uh, like social media planner. Just a heads up for those people who sign up during the beta period, you definitely have full access of everything inside your account. But those people who sign up after the beta period, um, the social media planner is only available for the 149 plan. So, but you can definitely still post like um like social media posts on your individual social media accounts. And if you have Meta, you can definitely use that. So you have different ways on like posting uh like you know uh posts uh with your social media channels. But in this demo, we'll do we'll do it through our techmatic social media planner. So yeah, so head over to marketing emails and go to social planner and create new posts. And this is where we're going to um, post about uh, what Techmatics is, and then we will add in our affiliate link so we can drive traffic into turning it into rewards. And to give you a heads up, we actually have prepared different resources and assets that you can use in posting your um, uh, and posting to your social media plan uh, uh, channels. So we have these templates and we also have these templates. We'll definitely give it to you for free, but we might need to wait until our, our recording will convert. So it might take around four hours to convert. So we'll give this uh, all of these assets for free through Canva links and we'll just maybe give it to you on a view mode. So just duplicate this uh, template, create a copy yourself so you can customize it in your own branding and if uh, whatever you want it to look like. But if you want to use your own images, please feel free to like revamp anything that you can see, or you can just create your own to, uh, to like, you know, to, um, if you want to have your pretty much your own templates that you want to post in your social media planner, if you have like specific branding that you, know, you want to follow. But in our case, we'll give out all of these templates for free. Uh, we'll send a um, a guide through um, an email blast we'll send out before the end of the day. And we'll also do a post on our social media page. So yeah. And then after that, this is how it looks like. I think we have 13 templates that you can find here. And then aside from that, we also have prepared uh, documents for the email templates you can use. And aside from email templates, we also have social media captions that you can also use. All of this can be, uh, you can definitely have access to it through the email that we're going to send out. And we'll also do a post about it on our Facebook group. So yeah, so let's go back to our social media planner. Let's create our post about uh, Techmatics. So this is actually an, uh, a live account inside Techmatics. This is our main Techmatics account. As you can see, we have all of our um, uh, social media channels. The first one is the GMB. And then we have here our Techmatics page. And then we have here our Techmatics group. If you have a community group on Facebook, you can definitely link it on your social media planner. So you can start scheduling your posts through here. And then we have Instagram. We have LinkedIn. Uh, I don't think we'll do TikTok because this is not a video. So yeah, so those are all of the social media platform that I want to create a post for about the affiliate that I have. And then what I'm going to do is I need to head over to um, this exact doc for the caption for the social media posting. But you definitely feel free to like create your own if you feel like it. But in my case, I'll just use this one. So I'll copy everything, like all the captions here until the last bits. Paste it as a content to our social media planner. You will see all the previews of the channels here on the right-hand side. And then the very important thing to do is to update this link into your actual affiliate link. 
So head over to your affiliate dashboard, copy your affiliate link, and then paste your affiliate link as a link on your caption. So you can have you can either have it this way, or you can also have it on a QR code if you want to, if you're keen to use QR codes. And then after that, choose an image that you want to have. You can choose any image that we have provided to our Canva templates. But in my case, I'll just upload something for Media Library because I think I have converted something already. So yeah. So maybe I'll choose this one. And then it might look squish here, but it will look fine into um, the actual like posting. And then if you're wondering if you can see a call to action um, on, uh, on my screen, this is because this is actually a requirement for Google My Business posting. So you can just go to, uh, I mean, set a call to action and then maybe have learn more and then paste your affiliate link here down below because this is just a regulation that we need to follow through Google My uh, Business posting. And then you can definitely post it now, schedule it sometime or send it uh, send this post as approval if you're a VA and you're working for a client that is using TechMedics, you definitely send this as a post approval so your, uh, so your client can uh, maybe approve it first before posting. But then in my case, I'll just post it now. So I'll just click on post it now. And this post should go out to all of our social media planner, including our Facebook community group. So yeah, so that's for the first way on... Uh, basically sending out um, all the information about TechMedics, promoting your affiliate link so you can get more rewards from it. Yep. And another way that we can do it is through an email blast using our email marketing inside TechMedics. So everyone, uh, regardless of your plan, should have access to our email templates and email campaigns. We don't have this uh, folder loaded yet to your accounts, but we'll have it before the end of the day. So um, eventually it will call TechMedics Affiliate Email Templates or maybe something similar to that. When you click on this folder, you will actually see uh, this affiliate number one. This is what we're going to do to for our campaigns. So I'll just click on this one because um, essentially the idea of this workaround is to send out an email, uh, email blast to all of your contact list about TechMedics and then add in your affiliate link as a call to action. So that's what we're going to do. Any questions so far? Let me just check on the chat. Yep. So please feel free to put in your questions into the chat box so we can adjust it during the call. So yeah. So this is the affiliate link that we uh, we created. Eventually, uh, before the end of the day, we will customize it, uh, set up all of the custom values so it should be all good to go. So I'll just set it up into maybe dear first name. Custom values can be found on the top bar of the email templates. And then if you want to address the first name of the contact you're referring to, head over here, choose contact and first name. So if, if I'm sending to Mike, it will be, it will show up like, for example, dear Mike, and then your message right here. So yeah, so feel free to update all of the templates that we have provided. You have your uh, freedom to like update everything. And then this is how the email newsletter looks like. You can definitely uh, revamp it, shorten it, whatever you want to do. But in my case, since this is just a demo, I'll just keep it as is. And then best regards, I'll just set it as maybe uh, net and then te uh, team technetics. Yeah, this is just for a sample though. Uh, and the image on top can take on maybe your logo or your photo or any images that you can like, you know, relate to your mm -hmm. business. Please update everything that you think you can update. And then the most important, th uh, important part, this button right here needs to be your affiliate link so that every click for this button will be accumulated to your sales um, if ever they will sign up for an affiliate, uh, I mean, TechMedics account. So let me just, when I click on this button, I'll just change the CTA into uh, maybe I'll call it uh, sign up for a free 14 day, uh, hang on, day trial now. And then I'll head over to my affiliate uh, funnel, 
copy my affiliate link, head over to my email again, set this button actions into a URL and paste the URL. Uh, I mean, paste your affiliate URL as the URL and you should be all good. So just save the template. And then after that, for those people who are not yet aware, uh, the Techmatics um, campaigns or tech, sending emails inside Techmatics have like different workarounds. We have a simple email that you can choose and you can ha definitely have this email builder. If you're creating your emails through email builder, you will actually notice that you don't have a send or schedule option. It will just give you an option to save the template, but nowhere to send it. That's because after you create your email on email builder, you might need to convert it as an, uh, a campaign first. So that's what you're going to do. So go to that exact email template that you want to send out to your email list. For example, in my case, that would be affiliate number one. Click on actions and then click on create campaign. And after that, you will now see that you now have the option to send or schedule your email. So as you can see on top, we now have the option to send or schedule. So in here, you can definitely, uh, I think we already like set up almost everything into the email uh, the email template. So I don't have to, ch uh, to change anything. Uh, I did not set up the uh, social media footer yet, but if you have it yourself, I think you already set that one up. And then after that, you can just send or schedule. You can set it now, schedule it sometime. And then here on the right hand side, you will put in the from email and what where this email is coming from, and then the from name. And then the email subject, uh, we have already provided some email uh, subject that you can found here into the document. But you can definitely uh, just create your own if you want. And then on a recipient, you can also just set it to all of your contacts inside your account. But in my case, I might need to maybe just send it manually to some of my team. So maybe I choose uh, Chelsea, Febby, and Febby. And then after that, after you're all good, you can just click on send and that email will be now sent out to all of your subscriber. That could be your potential um, referral that could like bring your rewards to your affiliate uh, portal. So yeah, so that's one thing on, uh, I mean, that's a second way on promoting your affiliate link so you can get more rewards to referring people uh, with using Techmatics. So yeah. Any questions so far? Uh, yeah, I think that should be all good. Yep. If you have any questions, please feel free to put it on the chat box so we can uh, check in it. And then the third part, uh, this will go actually to your usual newsletter. So instead of, for example, if you're not comfortable with sending out maybe a blast out, a one-off email with basically everything about Techmatics, what can I actually suggest is have a newsletter set up with a dedicated section for Techmatics and then have the button linked into the, your affiliate URL. So this is what I mean. Maybe I'll just delete the section so we can start from scratch. For example, this is my usual newsletter template that I use to maybe send out to all of our subscribers, to all of my mailing lists and stuff like that. And I just want to maybe um, set a section on my email to promote Techmatics. So what you're going to do is click on this plus size on your email builder. And then under the layout, we actually have a text and image layout that you can choose. Mm -hmm. Cl uh, click on that element and drag it across the exact part you want to have it. So you can definitely have the different options and how you want to style it. And yeah, and you actually are not limited to use this exact layout for maybe promoting Techmatics. You can also use this layout to promote your offers, your academy, your products, and stuff like that. Just set up like the image, the title, and then link to the button to the offer, like offer link or the actual product link, and you should be all good to go. But for the sake of the demo, we'll do it using the affiliate link. Uh, because let's have, for example, you're prom promoting Techmatics. So yeah, so what we're going to do, click on add image and then upload any image that you want to put in this exact section to promote Techmatics. So in my case, I'll just upload from Media Library. 
Uh, and with testing this email template, we actually noticed that it's actually good or uh, it's actually great to use an image with an equal size for uh, width and length. So preferably, it should be 400 by 400 pixels or it could be uh, 300 by 200 pixels as long as it's square. So that's what just I observe, but feel free to uh, maybe investigate or test out what you prefer on your email builder. So I'll just choose this image from Sarah. Yep. So as you can see, a square looks really great into this area instead of having that landscape type of image. I think it's because of the layout of the columns. So yeah. And then after that, let's set up all the words here on the right hand side. You can just choose some of the caption we have created in this document. So in my case, maybe I'll just use what would be the best? Uh, I think I have it an email template. Sorry. Yeah, I have it an email template. Maybe I'll use this uh, number four email section template that we have. Uh, maybe I'll just divide it to two. I'll have this first one until the, uh, maybe this one. And then head over here, change the text on top into that actual text. And then what I need to do is maybe, is there any spacing here? I'm not sure if we have any spacing though. Um, I don't think so. So uh, yeah, here we go. Maybe let's just do one. And I'll adjust the size into uh, maybe 16. Yeah, so I think that would be, and I'll put the space here. So mm -hmm. we can just divide it. And then after that, you can definitely choose like whatever heading template you want to have. And then mm -hmm. for the captions, let me just up, uh, copy the next text that we have here and then paste it into the email section. So paste. Remove all the necessary spaces and you should be all good. And last but not least is to update the button into the section into your actual affiliate link. So I'll just change the background color into maybe somewhat, uh, maybe I think this is a Techmatics branding, but you definitely use your own branding. I just use it because I prefer to use it. So yeah, head over to your affiliate um, page again, copy your affiliate link. And then head over to your um, newsletter, update the CTA into whatever CTA you want to have. So in my case, maybe uh, learn more about Techmatics. Techmatics. And then update the actions into URL. Paste your affiliate link as URL and you should be all good to go. So you can save this exact uh, template as your maybe newsletter template if you want to keep promoting Techmatics, so it will drive more income to you. Um, and just a heads up, Techmatics, um, uh, what do you call it? Techmatics income from rewards is actually uh, for a lifetime as long as the, the person you're receiving the uh, rewards from them. So that's what you're going to do. If you have 10% for, uh, if you have 10% rewards because you have uh, signed up for your affiliate after the beta period, you might have, if they sign up for a one for nine plan, you might need to have maybe 14.9 a month. And then that would be recurring for a lifetime and um, unless if they cancel their account. So that's what will happen with your uh, Techmatics affiliate. So yeah. So these are the section that I definitely uh, choose to have, but feel free to like, you know, use creativity and setting this up because I think this one looks ugly. Let me just take this. Oh, okay. I think this one looks better and you can definitely have a different, like maybe background color for this if you want. Let's have this one. Yep. You can definitely do it this way. You can definitely do it this way, depending on your preference. So in my case, I'll just put it as white. So yeah, so you can save this as a template. Just allocate a single section in your email newsletter for like promoting Techmatics. And again, you can also use it to promote your individual products. Because let me just show you something. Onto the layout for the text and image layout, we actually have an option to add like two products in here. So if you have multiple products, you can definitely add in multiple products as a 
uh, category inside your email builder. So this will make your email builder look pretty uh, visually and it's actually eye-catching. So yeah. So I just saved this template. Let's say, for example, you, you will have just have, have to go through the same process on sending it out. You need to uh, transform your email template under email builder first as a campaign to be able to set it out. So yeah, any questions so far? Uh, yeah, I think we're all good. Any questions? Sorry, did I cut someone off? Okay, I think that should be all good. So that would be uh, with creating or I mean promoting techmetics with a single um, section inside your usual newsletter. And just to give you a pick of what we're going to, uh, what we're currently doing for our funnel on maybe allocating a, what do you call this, a dedicated space for techmatics into your website, if you were to prefer to have it that way. Um, I'll just show you one of the email templates that I have uh, created. For those of you guys who got confused with the process, please feel free to book a call with me. So I can jump on with you regarding about how we're going to set it up uh, coming from your emails, from your, um, uh, what do you call it, social media planners and stuff like that. And for those people who are actually interested with setting up um, a specific techmatics, uh, maybe landing page into their website, uh, regardless if you have your website hosted on Wix or maybe on WordPress, uh, we can also assist with that. So please book a call with us so we can help you out. So yeah, so let me just, I have this influencer marketer um, website that I started to maybe play around earlier. And the idea of having Techmatics uh, section to promote your Techmatics affiliate to drive more incomes to your uh, affiliate portal is to have an allocated section where you can have the um, affiliate button. So in this case, I have it in this part. So it might look like this. We'll save it as a template. So we actually don't have much time today. That's why we will maybe discuss it some other time. But the idea is to have it this way, have this button and update this button action into um, a website URL and then paste the website URL. And the website URL that we're going to use is this uh, referral link that we have from our affiliate manager. And then just paste here. And that's basically what it is about. So that's basically it. So let me just maybe try to preview this page. Uh, just give me one sec because I'll show you how it works. So is that, for example, if you have this website, uh, regardless where you host your website, it could be a Techmatics website, it could be a Wix website, a WordPress website, it should work. So, so for example, this right here, when I click on learn more, you I will be redirected to the Techmatics page and that click and that sale if I sign up for a Techmatics account will be accumulated to my account. So when I ho have, head over to my affiliate um, portal, let me just refresh that one. Um, yep, I don't have anything yet. And then, yeah, so that would be it. So we actually have covered all of those top three ways to promote your te Techmatics affiliate. Uh, you guys don't have any questions? Yeah, I think we just finished early today. Let me just head over uh, before we could go. I would just maybe give you some insights on what are maybe new stuff coming with Techmatics. Um, don't worry about these resources. We will send it out to you through an email blast um, before the end of the day. Um, yeah, so all of these captions, all of these templates will be shared to you and we'll also post something about it to our Facebook group. So let me just head over to our uh, labs because I might need to show you something about our upcoming development and stuff like that. So on our logs, we actually have uh, new things coming in. Uh, we actually have new workflow builders. So the UI will offer a workflow would be quite different with our existing like demos and previous demos. So just to give you a heads up with that one, if you want to use the uh, new workflow uh, builder on its beta mode and its testing mode, 
just enable this on your labs. Go to settings, go to labs, and enable this button because this uh, new workflow builder will be live um, within 42 days. So if you opt in and if you turn this on on your laboratory, it means you... Um, you want to use the uh, work, new workflow builder on its beta mode and be uh, on its basically beta mode on a testing mode. So uh, you might encounter like some bugs and some glitches and stuff like that because this is still on the uh, on the final phase of te uh, testing. We're just making it available for everyone who wants to test it out. So yeah, and then after that we have like different um enhancement that we have to uh we definitely have. We have some updates for the affiliate manager. For those people who, who are not familiar, we actually have an affiliate manager inside your Techmatics account. So if you're selling courses and you want people to start referring people or like different students to like, you know, buy your program, buy your courses and stuff like that, it's actually one way to encourage them to like, you know, to promote if you give them some sort of rewards for that. So we have some few, I think, trainings for this one, our YouTube channel. So you can just go to our YouTube channel, type for Techmedics Affiliate, and it will show you those stuff. So yeah. And then let me just go back to our labs. I think we have, I, I'll see if we have, yeah. No, uh, we have new website builder coming in. Uh, it will go live in 16 days, but I think the uh, the current one I showed earlier is actually the new uh, the new UI for our website builder. But aside from that, we actually have, I think, two new elements on our website builder. Uh, we now have um, image slider and we also have a video background. For those people who have been requesting that, um, yeah, I'm happy to announce that we now have the option to add a video as our background for our website because we've been uh, dealing a lot about that one on the past. So yeah. New survey builder, this is actually really cool. We will create uh, a training on how you can definitely maybe start using survey builder inside Techmatics. Phone sticky, uh, sticky filters, that's all good. Calendars, yep. We also have different revamps for our calendars, which is really great. And also for our course creators, we now have coupons and membership. So this is now live. I'll show you how to do that in a bit. Emails and conversations, obviously marketplace, that should be all good. So maybe since we're currently in here, I'll show you how to uh, enable coupons on your checkout. But just a heads up, coupons are only available for the offers made after the version 2. So if you're wondering what the version, uh, the version 2 is, when you have created like different offers inside your Techmatics account, you're actually... Um, notice that you have some offers that are marked as a v2 and some offers that are not marked at all so let's just wait for that um i don't think we have something ah uh, yeah here we go you see some of the offer is marked as version 2 because this is updated version that we have and i'm afraid the coupons only work for the version 2 um uh, offer so let me just click on this exact offer right here and then on the right hand side, when you click on edit price, let's have, for example, set a price for this one for $12. Save. And then after that, you will now have the option to allow checkouts to accept coupons. And in that, you can definitely uh, give out coupons to your student if you want them to sign up for a different courses or different programs. Once you save it, and then when you click on preview it, this is how it will look like. Uh, let's just wait for that one to load. Oh, yeah, I already purchased it. Let me just open it in a new tab. Uh, incognito, that would be the best way to test it out. Uh, let's just wait for that one. Yeah, so it will ask for my number, my full name, and then the coupon code. So if you're asking how can you create a coupon code, you, ne you need to head over to payments. And then after payments, head over to coupons. And this is where you're going to uh, create your coupons. So just to fill the time, let me just create a coupon for you. And I think I have some question with Andrea. How is different is a new workflow for the current version? I am about to start using workflows. 
uh, and your feedback will be helpful. Please elaborate about the new calendars and how we can replace Calendly. Okay, no problem. We'll discuss about that in a bit, Andrea. But let me just create an uh, uh, a coupon for our membership. So let me just call it test membership. And you can definitely create your own coupon code, but I'll just generate one because that's easier. Coupon, uh, coupon type, you have two options. You can definitely have a percentage coupon. So for example, if you're giving away this product for free, you can just set the um, coupon type as percentage and then at 100. And you can also have a fixed coupon, for example, for $10 off and stuff like that. But in my case, I'll just do maybe 100% off, so it will be for free. Start date, start now, and then you can definitely start, uh, can have the option to add an, uh, an end date if it's a seasonal sale and stuff like that. And then down here below, you have the option to limit the total number of times that the coupon, that the coupon could be redeemed. So in my case, maybe I'll just do it as twice. And then you also have the option to limit the uh, the coupon checkout with a specific product. So for example, if you only have this workshop, uh, I mean, you only want people to use this coupon to this workshop, please enable this uh, button uh, on the last one. So I'll just click on create because we're just basically testing it out. And then after that, I'll head over to my second page. And then apply the coupon code, click on apply, and you will now see that the subtotal is actually zero amount because we have a 100% coupon uh, discount for the coupon that we set. So yeah, so that's how you set a coupon. So I'll just close this window down and let's discuss the question we got from Andrea. Um, with that, Andrea, there's no actually changes with overall how the workflow works. It's just a UI. So let me just show you. I think we already have this one revamped. Let me just wait for that. Um, yeah. So this is how the new workflow looks like. It looks like edgy, not these, uh, not like you know, the same way before that it has like maybe rounded eight um edges and stuff like that. It just uh, it will like like look different like with the new um revamp on the AI, but it works the same way. So if you click on add new work workflow trigger, you will actually uh you will actually notice that um everything is still the same. It's just that we just updated the the UI so it will look like edgy and stuff like that. So yeah. So don't worry about uh, changes on the workflow. There's no, uh, there's not much of changes that we've made. We just revamped the UI to make it like appear cleaner to all of your users. And yeah, and for your, um, for your question about um, calendar revamp, the same thing. We actually don't have any changes on the calendar, um, but we have some changes with our um, UI and how it looks like. So let me just copy this permanent link. For example, I'm currently in groups. This is now how our group calendar looks like. Oh no, that's ugly. Hang on. Let me just choose a, uh, let me just, I think I did not turn it on. Let me just go to labs again. Mm, did I turn on the calendar? Uh, yeah, I did. Hang on. Enhance. Oh, okay. It, it will be for the booking view. But we actually have some few of the calendars that already revamped. So maybe my account is not chosen because this is not on SAS. So yeah. So let me just go to uh calendars first. Um, with that, Andrea, don't worry about some changes that we made to the calendars and workflows. We don't we did not change the process and how to set up stuff and things like that. We just did some changes and updates and enhancements about how it looks like. So that's just how different it is. So yeah, I think that would sum, sum up our discussion for today. Thank you guys for jumping on a call with me. We need, whenever you feel stuck with anything, please don't hesitate to book a call with me or Chelsea or whatever time that you're currently in. 
we have a free 15 minute support call that we would love to jump on with you if you need our help in setting up uh, uh, setting up stuff inside tech medics so please don't hesitate to reach out to us whenever you have any problems with your tech medics account so yeah i think that would be it for today thank you so thank much you, guys Matt. for jumping on with me today i'll thank send you an email with a recording afterwards thank you great thank you bye bye guys <laughs>